Hello, thanks a lot for stopping by How To Cook Great. Now if you like what you see, there's over 3,000 other cooking videos on our channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you. Okay, let's get on with this one. Alright, how are you doing? So today I'm going to make this. We've got broccoli, we've got cauliflower, we've got pasta, we've got a tomato sauce and we've got a white cream sauce in there, in the oven, topped with cheese. Absolutely divine. Welcome back to How To Cook Great. Okay, we're going to jump straight in and get our vegetables ready. So I've got one head of cauliflower and one head of broccoli in there. Prepared them up. Cauliflower's quite big. Broccoli's a bit smaller. I've got like a centimetre of water in there, cold water with a little bit of salt. We're going to bring that to the boil, stick a lid on it. Going to steam it just for about five minutes. So while our vegetables are just steaming away, which by the way, we still want a nice bit of crunch on them. Don't overcook them. We'll take a look at our pasta. I'm using these pasta shells. Get your pasta cooked. You can use any pasta you want. Penne, spaghetti, farfalle, fusilli. It's up to you. What I've got there is about four or five cups, roughly, of cooked pasta. Okay, so the vegetables are cooking. You've seen the pasta. This is for the tomato sauce. Really nice, simple, basic tomato sauce. I've got one can there of plum tomatoes. I'm gonna to crush them up a little bit with my spoon a bit later. That's like 400 ml. One cup of onions, two teaspoons of oregano, dried that is, and a tablespoon of garlic. We're gonna start that off with a little bit of olive oil and add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, there's the pasta ready. I've just cling filmed that for a bit later there's our steamed vegetables okay we're going to make this really simple sauce i've got three tablespoons of olive oil in there one cup of the onions one tablespoon of garlic and the oregano just above medium heat four minutes really easy nice simple tomato sauce lovely Let's get a little bit of salt and black pepper in. Then we're gonna add that one can of tomatoes. I'm just gonna break this down with my spoon. And we're gonna go for five or six minutes again on this above medium heat. Give it a stir every now and then. You've got yourself a really simple tomato sauce for this lovely pasta, broccoli and cauliflower dish. Beautiful, really, really simple. Let's move on. Okay, so we're gonna make a nice, easy white sauce. I've got one tablespoon of butter that I'm just melting into this pan. Now, keep it fairly low. Back in a moment. Okay, so that's just melted. We're gonna to add to that one and a half tablespoons of flour, just a plain wheat flour. And we're gonna cook this on a low heat for about five minutes, stirring all the time. We want to get that kind of nice shortbread, biscuity type of taste to it. You can taste it in a few, few minutes. Really important to do this nice and slow and really important to cook it well. Otherwise you're gonna end up with a sauce that tastes of flour, which is not good. Okay, that's fine. Now I've just tasted it. You can literally just pick it up a little bit and eat it. You'll get a kind of digestive biscuit flavor to it. I've got one pint of milk here, full fat milk, use a different type of milk if you want. In that goes, a little bit of nutmeg, maybe a teaspoon, or you can adjust that if you want. Black pepper, a little bit of salt, maybe half a teaspoon of salt there. And then stay on this low heat, work it in, stirring, stirring, stirring. What we're hoping for is a nice smooth, thicker sauce. It will thicken up with the flour. It's probably gonna be about four or five minutes. Okay, beautiful. Now, stir, stir, stir. You have to keep stirring all the time. Don't stop stirring, or you're gonna end up with a nice lumpy sauce, which you don't want. This is beautifully smooth. Well, we've got it all together now. White sauce, the red sauce, the tomato sauce, the pasta, and the cauliflower and broccoli. We can get it all mixed together and get it ready. So as you can see, I've mixed the cauliflower, the pasta and the broccoli together 
I'm using a metal oven dish. You can use uh, ceramic or glass if you want. Simply, we're going to add the tomato sauce that we made. And the white sauce that we made. In it all goes. And then what I need to do is I need to get a nice spoon bigger than that one and I'm going to give it a little mix. Okay, let's add a nice little mix. Now we're going to get some cheese on there. Now the cheese you use, that's entirely up to you. I've got some nice mozzarella here. You know, this is the one that's in a bag with water. You can use a block one if you want. And I've also got some cheddar, which I've just, I haven't grated it. I've just kind of put it into little chunks, you know, like that. Just get that on there. I mean, you can put as much cheese on as you like. I don't like tons of cheese on there, to be honest. Not too much. All right, that's ready for the oven. So into your oven, get your oven preheated, nice and hot, maximum heat. Pop that in, everything's cooked, we're just bringing it together. It's gonna to be about, depending on your oven, eight to 10 minutes, wonderful stuff. Yeah, that was about nine or 10 minutes in my oven. Just kind of toasted it up, melted that cheese. That's really beautiful, I love that one. Hope you enjoy that too. Keep safe, keep well, I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Well, well done for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you that follow the channel on a regular basis. You know who you are. There's loads of you. I'm cooking away like nonstop. As you can see, I've got some lovely food right in front of me here. We're just about to be, start our cookbook. We're doing our cookbook at the moment, which is going to take a long time to come out. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, but yeah, it's going to take a while, lots to do. But yeah, cooking away. Chef June is working really hard on the channel as well, doing his Filipino food in Tugalo. Rahel's got her own channel now doing the Ethiopian food, which is marvellous. It is in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia. But check it out because she really, really is fantastic. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing great. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. I do actually try and get back to everyone who leaves a comment for me. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. There's social media knocking about, you know, Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff if you want to check it out. But that's it. Keep safe. Keep well. Lots of love. Mm -hmm.